What's up, everyone? I'm Jack Slater, a.k.a. The Comic Outlaw. Yeah, yeah. And it's time for a Fantastic Four. Yes, a Fantastic Four squaring off against Galactus. Issue 75, Galactus is back, and he is looking for the Silver Surfer. And also, Galactus is hungry. And where's the Surfer gone? He's gone in worlds within worlds. Meanwhile, the Fantastic Four is left with a huge, huge mess. Galactus wants the Silver Surfer back. The Silver Surfer is the one that guides him to planets. They are linked together, and Galactus is hungry. He thought his, by punishing the Silver Surfer and leaving him on Earth, he would soon wise up, but he hasn't. And now the Fantastic Four are frustrated. And you can really tell Thing wants a piece of the action. He doesn't want to just sit here and wait for Galactus to make his next move. He already sent the Punisher that half-zombie, half-alien robot that they defeated, barely. And now what are they going to do? As Galactus is probing New York, probing the Earth, looking for the Silver Surfer, as Ben Grimm raises his fist and threatens him. But that's like a cockroach threatening a full-grown man. As Galactus stands there ready, looking for the Silver Surfer, his hunger is peaking. And though he vowed never to attack the Earth again, he must beast. He must find the Silver Surfer, or his hunger will cause him to devour the planet. And everything and everyone on Earth will be consumed by Galactus. For it's his hunger that drives him. And now he realizes the Fantastic Four are there, and he must have them betray the Silver Surfer. He must show them the might of Galactus. And that Galactus is not playing around. This is life or death. As he begins to mold the island, change it, uproot it. As Ben falls into the water, sinking into the ocean depths. As Reed tries to reach out for him, but fails. Ben begins to sink into the water and Reed jumps in after him. Using his body to protect Ben as they both go down into the drink. And then they pop up flying. And Human Torch is wondering what's going on as they become weightless, flying up into the atmosphere. And these are all games that Galactus is playing, making them realize the extent of his power. As he brings them up to the upper atmosphere, they begin to freeze. And all of a sudden a blast comes out of nowhere, right before they are about to feel the icy death of space the eternal coldness of the black around them. They're right back where they started, on the same island. And yet something is different. Something is emerging from the water. It's them. Double gangers. Creations of Galactus. And they begin attacking the Fantastic Four. They're more murderous, destructive, and they have all their powers. As a Silver Surfer disappears into the subatomic world a world within the world you could say he's trying to hide from galactus no longer wanting to be his servant as he disappears into the subatomic universe and the laws of physics work different here there's universes wrapped up in universes as he shrinks more and more trying to get out of the sight of the world of our as the Fantastic Four deals with their double gangers, they find that not only are they equally matched, they know them inside and out, all their moves, and yet they are deadlier. They will kill. They will murder. They will cross that line. And Reed is learning the hard way that his double ganger is insane. And I love those spikes that come out, using his powers in a more murderous fashion. Reed is barely able to dodge. These double gangers were built for them, built to fight them, to destroy them. And yet, the Human Torch decides to switch dance partners, which works out because these double gangers were created to fight their own, not other members of the Fantastic Four. And so they begin to switch partners. The Human Torch decides to fight Ben Grimm's double. Reed takes on Johnny's. And of course, Ben Grimm takes on Reed's double. 
and it's clobbering time, and it is, as they find a way to deal with these evil Fantastic Four and throw them back in the sea. But Galactus is tired of games. He appears before them, saying that he wants the surfer, and that his time in his games, he's exhausted, hungry, and he wants the surfer back, and he's willing to destroy this world in order to get him back. As a planetoid, a giant meteor basically appears out of nowhere. Over New York, the Fantastic Four stand helpless against it. As it begins smashing into things, people are scared, wondering what's going on. As Crystal takes care of Sue because she's pregnant, and she's just basically lying to her telling her that it's going to be okay, telling her that it's protesters outside. And Sue was worried that it was some kind of cosmic event, and little does she know. Anyways, Reed reaches out with his mind, his incredible brain, psychically trying to communicate with Galactus, saying that they need more time and they'll deliver the surfer to him. And Galactus finally getting what he wants, delivers an ultimatum. Bring me the surfer or the world will die. So Reed brings out his new machine, a craft to go into the subatomic universe to hunt down the surfer and bring him to Galactus in order to save the planet. And will they succeed? We'll find out, won't we? And I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.